Hello, watch lovers. You know what time it is. With me to this evening is Janilda. Hello, guys. And Gavin. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Um, quick update. Uh, you may have noticed on the wide camera that we've actually swapped seats. So if anybody thinks we're not listening to you all about the microphones and, and Janilda speaking into a microphone, <laughs> we're trying a different combo. Also, you may have noticed this week, I've absolutely stitched these two up because they're wearing... For the Euros. For the Euros. Look what they made me wear. What are you wearing, Janilda? <laughs> I have no idea. What, what team do you support, Janilda? Janilda? I don't know anything about football. Okay. But England, I guess. Correct. Yay. Yep, Correct. It's, it's coming home, apparently. Uh, did you watch the game yesterday? I didn't. What did no. you think of Harry Kane's performance? I'm just Amazing. joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. So, guys, who do you think is going to win it? Please pop in the comments what your thoughts are, whether you think England will be bringing it home. Gav, not, your thoughts? Not a chance I of England ever bringing it home. And it's not that I'm not an England supporter. Um, I actually find it a little bit dull to watch. I actually watched the French Open tennis yesterday when Agreed. it was on instead of the England yeah. game. Um, but I hope we do well because I think it's all good and positive for the country. And for anybody watching from the States, it's the soccer tournament, the US, uh, the UK, European soccer. <laughs> um, Spencer, what's been going on? Oh, sorry. Janilda, what's been going on this week at BQ Watches? We've actually been very busy guys this week went so quick didn't it and uh i feel like uh we've been selling a lot part exchanges um i ugh, same things guys gmt's are strong daytona's root beers bat girls but i feel like yellow gold is getting very very popular lately I've it's all the it. summer the tan arms the yeah. short sleeves that's it people are People want to go on holiday with a nice watch, And obviously. since the end of COVID restriction, well, it's not since the end mm. of COVID restriction. We'll come to that later on, the UK government faffing it up again. But are you seeing now that people are out and about, more people coming into the into BQ Certainly, watches? Absolutely. I mean, we've, we're having many a people travel a long way to come and see us. We had a gentleman down from Isla. Um, we had a couple from I don't Scotland. even know where Isla is. Isla is an island off of Scotland. Wow. And I will do a shout out to of some of our customers who have come but i haven't done the list today but we will be doing that fantastic general wombo is in the building good to see you on a thursday night even though you can only thursday see night, us it's thursday night jesus <laughs> fast forward it's because it's you said the week's gone so quickly <laughs> and there's me i'm all over the place today it's too much sunshine um a couple of little comments uh geezer says belgium belgium for the for the uh belgium, for the euros okay, john smith yep. says france with a crying face uh, or geezer says all france um but uh, that's interesting i think actually yeah france are always up there aren't you? i mean you can't no, no one said germany yet we don't like to say it but no. germany are always very very strong sure. i did actually do a bit of googling today on some footballers just to see what sort of watches they wore but to be quite honest with you there were so many and they seem to have so many watches that i decided yeah. just just to kind of mm. ditch that um General Wamba comes in straight away with a question, actually. And before I go on, do, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. Do far away. We're going to give it a good go to answer everything as we go through this evening. Uh, Janilda is particularly featuring quite heavily tonight. Um, she's got her own little section of the show coming up. Uh, if you saw the uh, JPEG holding slide of our title, you would see that she is all over it for a little surprise for all you guys. <laughs> it's going to be nice. General Wombo asks you, Janilda, mm -hmm. uh, do you think the yellow gold green dial Daytona will ever exceed £100,000 next year or so? I'm not sure. I think it might reach 80k. I wouldn't go as much as 100 but maybe. Mm. That's enough, isn't it? What's it currently trading at, Spence? Um, 65, yeah. 70. 65. General Wombo. Christmas, that was 45. It that was. was 45 at Christmas. Yeah. 45, 48. Yeah. Yeah, at Christmas. It's literally... We've got we've got some in stock, guys. Uh, so but, if you're, but ooh. don't give it all away. We're doing <laughs> it again. <laughs> We're doing it again. We're telling everybody. Ahead. We're trying to sell okay. them. Okay, she right. didn't stay. We got one in stock. <laughs> okay, or oh, they've got one in stock. Um, but uh, so not quite a hundred grand. But I don't uh, think so. Maybe General Wombo, do you own one of those? Is that why you're asking? Are you uh, sitting on a nice little pretty investment there? Um, V for Victor Hi all There's as much chance Of England bringing it home As me getting A Daytona Panda From my <laughs> AD Lol <laughs> I think he's absolutely right Absolutely spot on there In fact you've probably Got more chance um, That's fantastic um, Now 
we've got a few watches. I came in to you this morning and uh, we said last week we would perhaps not go Rolex this week. Sure, I know you sure. guys are like obviously huge on Rolex. Yeah, yeah, but we have the full selection of other stuff as well. Okay, so, so let's go through. We've brought a selection of stuff in today to talk about some of the really nice pieces that uh, Spencer and Janilda have in stock at BQ Watches. And um, let's start off with watch number one, which is the Audemars. Okay, oh, boys and girls, put your gloves on, please. Gloves on. That's it. I know you love a pair of gloves, Janilda, with your white top. It's all very matchy-matchy. <laughs> Lucky we didn't get you an Italian top. Um, otherwise, we'd have to get you some blue gloves. The Royal Oak... Well, you told me it was called Camo. The Camouflage, that's right. That's yes. the green one. Now, oh. I'm going to be honest with you, and I Google searched Camo, and I didn't find it. There's the watch on screen there, guys. Okay, as you can see, it's a beautiful piece while the guys get their watches on. Um Talk go. me through that watch, Spencer. So that is the chronograph. There we go, the AP chronograph with the green dial, and it's also got a green bezel. What is really beautiful with this, you've got the glass back. Oh, that's lovely. Now, that's a limited edition of 400 pieces, isn't it? But the finish on these is incredible. And we you're all probably know. a bit too close to the... There I you go. If you look on, yeah. Spence, yeah. if you look on the screen, you can see up there you go. You yeah. can see exactly where you we are. We all know It's a beautiful watch, isn't it? The green. Yeah. APs are very nice watches. Now, the question I have for you is, I Googled this watch today. And I know in, 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 in BQ, you'll call it the camo. But when I Googled it, when I Googled it, literally they had camouflage watches and I couldn't, I couldn't find the green one. Yeah. So unless you bought it out of some hooky shop in uh, China... <laughs> um, we we pro but that's stunning. What what's it, what's the metal? Um, that's stainless steel and ceramic. Ceramic bezel. Stainless Amazing. steel and ceramic. Wow, yeah, with it's green absolutely dark. gorgeous. I absolutely love that watch. Um, it is and actually going to feature green, a bit later. And you've got the green strap. It's there. beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so that's the first on our list. Um, now number two is an interesting story because bring up number two, please, James. This is a Batek Aquanaut reference five one six eight. Now. As you can see, I went into BQ Watches this morning and I filmed my chubby little fingers holding that beautiful watch. I was allowed to take the wrappings off because it is pretty much brand new, isn't it? Um, you, you won't see me drop that watch this week. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Spencer, uh, you still got the uh, stickers, stickers on. The, now, Spencer, obviously, um, we that watch isn't in your hand tonight. No, um, we've got someone very interested and they wanted to come and view it. So that that's why we couldn't bring that, but... It's not definitely gone, but it's a beautiful piece. And that's something they're bringing out in the Nautilus in the green, um, which is super limited, like ridiculous. Yeah. I and mean, at the moment, this in the green and blue is just very, very... It's absolutely stunning, stunning watch. We love that one, Janilda, yeah. don't we? We do. We're yeah. going to see more of it later. Yeah, I'm putting that on my, yeah. <laughs> my Santa Christmas list. Um, watch number three. Uh, we mentioned this a couple of weeks ago. Um, as something that was coming in and it's uh, a limited edition 2012 what watch am I talking about Spencer? Bronto Audemars Leo Leo, uh, Leo. The Leo ah the Leo Messi named after Janilda's favourite footballer that she's never mm -hmm. actually heard of mm -hmm. have you heard of Leo Messi? I know Messi? him you know I'm, him I'm personally? I'm bed yeah oh fantastic <laughs> so this is so here let's have a little look at that can we see you, that? you got that on the there screen first so that's me and um, there we go spencer now pop Beautiful. it on the screen there we go so there's the back of the watch further away. there you go so that's the leo messi royal oaks are very popular I've, I've this heard. has got a very interesting dial the bezel on this is some crazy metal called tantalium tantalium i've come across before hublot use as well it's absolutely stunning that is absolutely... And what's the strap on that? Leather. Let's have a look at the strap. It's a leather um, strap. Leather yeah. strap, yeah. yeah. It's absolutely stunning. And I guess at some point someone's going to ask the price on all these things, but of course they are on the BQ website. You of can course, You can yeah. check it all out. And, uh, or they can give us a call and we yeah, can let them yeah. Know. Yeah, This is a very limited number on this from memory. Um, yeah, again, It's a beautiful piece. 400 pieces. 400, 400 pieces, yeah. And that was 2012, 2012. And, ne and never issued again? No. Just amazing. That's and, like a new piece. And was it only, did it only come in, in, in that came, metal? That was it. That was it. Beautiful. Now, one of my favourites that, that actually I, I think I picked out this one. This yeah, is a Panerai. Did. Number four is a Panerai. Reference 163486. It's a bronze lumina submersible. And I think this is for a, a less expensive watch. 
it, I think this is absolutely beautiful. Once again, it's got the green, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So very dark green on that. Again, somewhere in between. Yeah. Can yeah. you see that? No, they, that, that's... Uh, yeah, they got yeah. the... Now you'll go live. There you go, Spencer. There we yeah, go. see, we've added, we've added a camera for Spencer after seeing some of your comments last week so you can see the watches... That's a uh, very dark live. green. It's beautiful. Um, but again, a bronzo, so it's not gold. Yeah. It's a... I'm not actually sure it's actually worthy it's um it's i don't know bronze bronzo bronzo <laughs> and there we have it's an italian yeah. make i really like panorama. it's beautiful actually I, I mean i love the dial so on that I like the panorama. back of that you can see there's titanium case yeah yeah it's absolutely stunning uh greggy boy 76 says evening all hello greggy boy hope Hi. you are well um J.S. Shah asked, do you think the new Batman price will carry on going up and will be this be the same for Pepsi? We'll get to the last watch in a second. Spencer, what do you think about that? Do you um, think Batman the Batman Pepsi, price will carry on going up? Um, Pepsi's always been slightly stronger. I think they're level off. They're, they will sort of steady a bit. I agree, they are quite high at the moment. Yeah. There's not many about. You not many pieces. Many, no. You can't no. find many. Let's get to watch number five. This is a bit like your bangers and mash, isn't it, this watch? This is... a. I don't know. I wouldn't call it an everyday watch, but um, a Cartier. Oh, sorry. The Amiga. Um, the, Amiga. the Amiga. The Amiga. Did you unpack the Amiga? <laughs> Did you leave that. it in the bag? It's okay. It's on the screen there. This is the Amiga Seamaster. Actually, James me, Bond Anniversary Edition. I think I know what happened, guys. Yeah, I think it's sold. gone. Yeah, it's gone. The Amiga. It's gone. It's gone. But that got sold today. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was quick, wasn't it? You royally <laughs> stitched me up, the pair of you. There's but me we thinking. We do have uh, others in stock. There, we do have quite a few in stock, and I think it's, it's a great watch. Okay. Well, seeing as I've gone to all the trouble of writing a bit of blurb on it, can we put it back on screen <laughs> and let's just talk about it for a second? Sure. Because I thought this, I saw this in, in your little, uh, your tiny little safe you have, and thought this was absolutely stunning. James, can you pick that up, please, number five, the Amiga Seamaster? Beautiful. And what I love about this, I love on the face the sort of James Bond kind of like yeah, that opening the, the thing. Opening scene, isn't it? It's absolutely so. I mean, it's beautiful. And also, I, I, interestingly, I did read in the uh, operator's owner, owner's manual that when the time goes, uh, the date goes to number seven, mm -hmm. guess what it does? Goes different colour. It goes down, 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 <laughs> down, down, down. No, it doesn't. It's got the seven of the James Bond in, the, sa the, in the same James Bond font. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. What's that? It says on the back there, we have all, uh, the, we have all the time in the world. world. That's beautiful. Which yeah. was a song by... By? Which was a song by, we have all the time oh. in the world. No? Nah. Mm. Uh, Armstrong. <laughs> okay. Some, Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. Uh, I think it's absolutely stunning. How much is that watch? Or how much was it? Beautiful piece. Hilda? Uh, I think it's... I think around 5,000. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Five God, something. I should have snatched that. I think that's yeah. really, really beautiful. Really love that. And now we come to, uh, yeah, as I said, our bangers and mash, our bread and butter kind of everyday um, every man watch. We have a Cartier Santos. And these have been popular for years, haven't they? They are. They yeah. still are. They still are. Yeah. Um, on the strap and the bracelet. This is the jumbo on the bracelet. Jumbo on the bracelet. Meaning? The size. That's what it's referred to as. The jumbo Santos. Okay, so it's the size of the face. Yeah. Oh, I got that. Okay, that's yeah, that's, that's a gorgeous. beautiful watch, guys. Um, it's not that expensive. Great, great watch, and it looks very nice. That's gorgeous. So there you go. If you thought that Spencer and Janilda only ever have Rolexes, uh, they do don't. have plenty of other bits and pieces. But we do have some later. So, yeah, there are there are a few there are a few coming out later. Um, right. Um, I saw somebody piped up with wrist check. Everybody, um, where are, General Wombo wrist watch check from the whole team, please. Let's start with Janilda today. <laughs> Where's my watch? She's it's watched too us. hard to wear a watch. Janilda <laughs> has forgotten to put a watch on. I did, yeah. Okay, Spencer, what's your uh, what's your poison there today? I will show you. This. Pop it in front of your little screen there. We have the, this is the Sea Dweller, the vintage, from about, I think this late 70s, early 80s. But right, okay. It's beautiful. Place. Right, put you on the spot. Model number? 1665. You're like a walking encyclopedia, aren't you? 5.9 million serial number, which will take us to late 70s. Wow. From guess. Okay, there's no guessing with you, Spencer. <laughs> there's no guessing. Spencer, ask And look at the back on that as well. Let's have a look. You have to put it in focus. You'll get used to this camera yeah. business. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, uh, yeah. What does it say? To Spencer with love, the queen. <laughs> <laughs> That's gorgeous. That's really, really lovely. You're into vintage watches lately, are you? I find them a bit more comfortable mm. and a little bit more That's unusual. Because You've been wearing the Batman yeah. for well, Batgirl. Everyone's, I see everyone with the new watches and everyone wants the Batman, the Batgirl, all the ceramics. So I've sort of gone Changed. the other way yeah. and gone back to some of these. And let me tell you, th this sort of size now, the 40 mil, I really feel is... Is the right thing. It is, yeah. No, nobody can ask me what I'm wearing this week. Go on. Oh. So I've picked out another piece of absolute junk. <laughs> yes, you're going to love this. Uh, can you put Gavin's watch up on screen, please? I have this beautiful... I'm going to take it off so you can have a look because I think it's a really lovely please watch. Do. It's an absolute pile of junk. <laughs> oh, they probably better not hear me say that. It's an Officina del Tempo. Um, have a look Officina at that. Officina del Tempo. Oh, there you go. The Italian. The Italian is not si. great. What, what do you think? It? Isn't that a beautiful watch? Hilda, is that uh, one they sell from the, from the beach? Uh, yeah, I think you buy those on the it beach. It says Don't Marrakesh. insult me with the looky looky <laughs> man watch. Will you Italian put me in the t-shirt? Italian and then it says Marrakesh. <laughs> Italian and maybe that's the style of the watch. I want to be exotic. Sure, I'm Have sure a look, Spencer. Style, Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at the weight on that. I think I paid about £340 for that. So Hold on a second. For the 25 <laughs> years ago. There we go, viewers. You can have a look. Cut to the camera, James. Yeah. Spencer, wow. what will you give me for that watch? I paid £340 20 years ago. It must be worth more than that. It must be. It must yeah. be. You're <laughs> absolutely right. The strap alone must be worth yes, more. Yes, Marrakesh. Mm -hmm. Italy, I've Marrakesh. Never heard of this. But Marrakesh isn't in Italy. No, of course it, it's of not. Of course it's yeah. not. Yeah. So why it's got Italy, Marrakesh? Oh, right. no I will idea. swap that this week um, for no. the. I'll swap it for the Panerai. Okay, and I'll, really I'll take like the, the Panerai. You might get. It. I really you? like the Panerai. I might yeah. get it. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Um, the strap is similar. Yeah, so same colour. <laughs> it's not a standing joke that every single watch I seem to own is a piece of rubbish, but it does appear that it is that <laughs> way. Um, let's go to some of the questions that have come in. Um, Geezer says, Spencer, any luck with the orange Aquanaut? Nothing. Not at the moment. It's killing Still you, trying. Isn't it? Still, Still trying. Waiting, it, you can imagine, Janilda, it must be Just killing him. It's a waiting game. I know how customers feel now. No, absolutely nothing at the minute. So are you nothing. like a bit edgy about it? You no, got that I, kind of. Well, until the that, butterflies going. Until that was mentioned, I hadn't even thought about oh, it. Oh, you hadn't thought, <laughs> about, <laughs> hadn't thought about it. Thanks, Geezer, for reminding yeah. him of the biggest pain that he's got going on at the but moment. But I will wear it as soon as we get it. Uh, John Smith says, will there be a two tone GMT yellow, and go yellow gold released next year? And if so, do you think it will be on a Jubilee bracelet? Interesting. Good shout. Buy metal GMT on Jubilee bracelet. Mm. I don't know. Maybe. Well, it used maybe. to be. Actually, I've got a 16713, the old model yeah. on the Jubilee. And let me tell you, it wasn't a seller. But you look at it now and it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. I should have worn I'll try and wear that next week. Oh, there you go. Yeah. See if you can remember that. But you forgot two watches tonight. See if you can remember that next week. <laughs> if it hasn't sold, absolutely. Okay. But the other thing is now we've got the rose on the Jubilee, on the Oyster. Right. So there isn't any yellow gold no. in the GMT at the minute. Maybe. Giza says 5168G is great. John Smith says the 5968 is the best Aquanaut in my opinion. Okay. No one's got anything to say about that one. No. Um James says, hi, Spencer and team. Do you guys sell spares links for oyster bracelets at all? Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. we can find some links yeah. for you guys. Yes. We have good stock of all of those. You have yeah. good yeah. stock of everything. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Um, Paul Oakley says, hi, guys. All look well um, there. That's good. It's good, good to know. We've been it, in the sunshine. Is it the lighting or the sun? Yeah. Thank you. It's, or a bit of both. It feels like we're, we're, it's boiling in here, by the way. <laughs> like it isn't hot enough outside. Uh, we had to turn the air conditioning off. Will there be any Pepsis available at the summer fair? Absolutely. I'd like to think so. We've got a few in stock at the minute. If they don't sell. Yeah. yeah if they don't sell. Yeah. They're quick turnovers, aren't yeah. they, your, your, your Pepsis? Um, Kelvin O, uh, don't forget to check with your watchmaker to see if he, she could service a 1970s Seiko chronograph pooge, please. Seiko. I'm assuming that perhaps is a... We not can. familiar with the watch, but we certainly have a look. We can try, right. yeah. Do. Yeah. Okay. I'm. Ass I'm assuming maybe he uh, says. Kelvin says looks like a Frank Muller laughing face. He does a little bit. Uh, Matt Cooley, 2001. Spencer discontinued Polar Dial Explorer 2. Prices seem to be riding very high at the moment. Is that just hype following the discontinuation, or will those prices stay high? I think they stay there at the moment. They're sitting. We've got quite a few, um, which we're holding. But you'll see there'll be a run where everyone wants them. Yeah, as exactly. as watch dealers. Um, 
when you see some uh, uh, like a movement in the marketplace is that something you do do you sort of go out actively and sort of think that, that that's good for us to have stock of yeah um it depends if we've got quite a few on our books but if we haven't and people are asking for them like at the moment we're short on pepsis i mean yeah. We sometimes have up to half a dozen. We've got about three at the moment. Yeah. And sometimes you run out, you're run out. you running out and we don't want that yeah. to happen. So there's the call out. Any sellers of any Pepsis? Pepsis Janil and buyer. Spencer Absolutely. are looking to buy. Um, Christian says, good evening. Good to see the 82 Retro England shirt. That's, that's the, one, the one I've got. That's on, the one you're going. Yeah. Yeah, I know I gave it to you because uh, Glenn Hoddle. Okay. And you are a Tottenham fan. Okay. Um, I have no idea what, what, what year yours was. If anybody knows what year that top was, um, it's still got the same one star that we've had since. Uh... Oh, it's got a date on the bottom on the label, apparently. Janilda, I'll leave that to you to try and work out. 2003. The 2003, 2003. England top. Um, General Wombo, Spencer, are you putting on a barbecue at the summer fair? We're in talks with everything. If we can, we will be. But if not, there will be some little snacks there as well as drinks. Yeah, you're certainly not going to go hungry and you're certainly not going to go thirsty. That's that's for sure. It's uh, it's uh, right on the agenda, isn't it, in terms of making sure everybody's comfortable. Uh, Christian says, thoughts on the new 36mm Explorer, guys? Mm, not our favourite, is it? <laughs> we really? have one. It's, uh, it is a bit small. It's a bit small. small. It's a bit small. It's a bit small, but... Some people will want it, but yeah, I do sure. feel the 39 was the right size. It's the perfect size. Yeah. When do you expect to see some other of these new uh, Rolex releases coming through? Where's the one with the... Uh, You've got the palm motif. Yeah, I was going to call it something else, but yeah. Um, I know, what were you going to call the it? The gunja. <laughs> yeah, the it looks gunja. like drugs to me. Um, normally, these come through September. That's right. normally... I've had quite a few people let me know as soon as you got it. You know, people are putting orders in now, yeah. but... It's just a waiting game, but nothing... Besides the Explorer, nothing else we've seen. General Wombo says, come on, get your wallet out. I assume he's talk, referring to the barbecue. Let me tell you, Spencer will stand there with Costco sausages if he has to, <laughs> with a chef's hat on. He'll be cooking himself. There'll be no problem. Look, if we're allowed to do it, whatever we can do, we will be we're doing it. He says, we have it. the weather for it. I can imagine you'd be a dab hand. I've actually seen Spencer's barbecue at home, and it is something to be believed. <laughs> we're going to go now to um, some questions we have from Instagram. Um, it's always nice for everybody on our social media channels to um, interact with us. So let's go with the first question. Um, let's bring it up. This is from Artisan Curation, who seems to pop up with a question every week. Thank you so much. What is, Janilda, I'm going to direct this at you. What is mm -hmm. the best value investment in a non-Rolex watch under 10K? I would say a Rolex Datejust. That's, that's non-Rolex. Non-Rolex. Oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. Non-Rolex. A non-Rolex watch to invest in under 10 I grand. I would go with Omega. Omega? Nice, I mean, even the one that we saw earlier that I've sold, <laughs> we've sold, but something like that. And generally speaking, Spence, like there's some good investments to be had in other brands. other Because I think everybody thinks, obviously, Pateks, uh, APs, but in the sort of... D different things at different price points but like you say I agree with them in order there the Amiga, Amiga. great watch um, Hublot's always Hublot's chronograph six eight thousand pounds great watch for the money at a discount same with Breitling's again these pieces that you're not buying new that there's a saving yeah is you know really good Tudor the Tudor as yeah, well yeah and I, I have to say those Tudors do look great don't yeah, they yeah two and a half three thousand pounds you yeah. pick a Tudor up it's yeah. and you watch. have a great watch you're yeah. not really going to yeah. do your brains no not, not like I did on my Frank Muller from no. 2003 correct yeah correct. not worth the uh, <laughs> not worth the leather on the on the strap uh, let's go to question number two this is from our great friend uh, Jacob Kendall who uh, Jacob obviously we're all coming out to your wedding we're looking forward to sure. receiving our airline tickets once uh, your president opens up the airspace are the pieces you feature in different episodes yours or Spencer's that could be it you Janilda <laughs> into your mic please they're BQs they're BQ watches they're BQ watches they're BQs, yeah. they're BQs. the oh. game is up Janilda everybody thinks you have a million pound watch <laughs> no, collection guys, sorry. they're all Spencer's um, now here's a really interesting question um, we won't avoid questions here Lamb Choppers asks why is the second hand ticking on the Daytona in the intro to the BQ Watches YouTube videos? Now, of course, the first thing I did when I saw that, because my team were responsible for making it, is I thought to myself, oh my God, we've really messed up and we remade it. And then Spencer said, 
And then Spencer said... You see, I'm just looking at the video. Sorry, this is coming up. What it is, that isn't the second hand, Gavin, uh-huh. that I mentioned to you. This is actually the stopwatch feature. Right. So it was only last week someone else asked me this on the Daytona. The two buttons on the Daytona, one to There it start. is, there it is. Yeah, so this, this so here is away. the stopwatch. It's not the second hand. It's for the stopwatch. Aha. Uh-huh. The actual second hand is the dial at the bottom above six. That's where the second hand is. So there you go, Lamb Choppers. There's the answer to your question. There was me pooping myself thinking we'd messed up on a watch and oh, the whole sweeping versus ticking. But actually, it was correct. It is the se- yeah. the, uh, the yeah. stopwatch. Yeah. Okay. That answers that question. Uh, PX9876 asks, what's the process uh, for authentication and condition checks when you receive a watch for sale, Janilda? Right, so we've got our watchmakers, they would do all all the checks on the movement, uh, check if the watch needs a polish, a service, Uh, we do a watch register, we we do all of our checks. If we are in doubt, we research the watch, see what's around, what's what's in the market, and that's that's how we decide. Now, I was in uh, this week with Andy. Uh, Tell me what Andy does for you. So Andy's one of our in-house watchmakers, like Janelle just said there. He would check a watch, check the glass, the case, the overall condition, check the watch is running properly, see what we have to do to make it 100%. So anything that comes into us, we look at it to try and restore that watch to put it in like new condition. So some watches, if they're in very bad condition or absolutely battered, we will decline to buy them because it doesn't matter what we do, we can't get it to the level we want. Yeah, or when we, you can't find the parts because yeah. the watch is too old. Yeah. We need to so, look into that. Right. So I spent a good hour with Andy last week uh, with some cameras, and we're going to put that out on one of our shows coming up, but where he literally, uh, God knows how his eyes can even focus that small into all these tiny little parts. He made it look very, very easy. But we're going to release that as a little video of basically ripping sure. a watch apart, oiling it, where greasing it. Where to um, service. Yeah, yeah service the watch, oiled yeah. it. I mean, pretty, uh, you know, as I said, I don't know how his eyes are still in his head. <laughs> um, let's move on to the next question. Versace Boy 5420 asks, Hi all, why doesn't Rolex make the YG DD40? I should know what that is by now, shouldn't I? Yep. Yellow gold, day date 40. There we go. Available with a meteorite and or MOP dial. Spencer. Rolex's choice. They decide what they do, what they put with what watch. Simple as that. My personal opinion, that would be a little bit too much on a day date. I I, I don't know. I don't think But they they change, they discontinue dials. That's what they it's their choice. That's what happens. And the last uh, question is from I mean, how would you describe the next person? Super Elliot one thousand and one. Okay, Super Elliot asks where He's is the clown the... of Mill Hill, isn't he? He, yes. he? he is the local clown, according to Spencer. <laughs> Where is the chair he, meaning Spencer, sits on from Poundland or Ikea? Um, I think it's from neither. James, where's the chair where's from, Where's the chair please? from, James? Uh, it was very expensive from a Swedish bespoke furniture maker on Wembley North Circular Road. Okay, Wembley North Circular Road, Elliot, if you want to go and fill your office with loads of these. You will notice that I have the gamer's chair that they used to have that's because I'm bigger than the average bear and if you want to know actually why I'm not wearing an England top the simple answer is none of them bloody well fit me I did oh, I did try really? I look like an absolute fat twat with it on so uh, I decided to absolutely <laughs> leave that off fun. yeah um, now we've mentioned in the past Spencer about the Rolex group on Facebook which is going great guns uh, we're very involved with that we're just shy now of 40,000 really yeah 40, it's about to hit 40,000 we'll be having a big celebration on that um, on you and um, we've had some questions in from the group we're putting stuff out on there now and trying to interact with the guys on the Facebook group so hello to everybody on the Facebook group on um, the Rolex group on Facebook Cameron Cam from Daytona Beach in Florida wow where do you think what wow. watch was named after that do you think Janilda wow what watch was named after Daytona Beach in Florida do I don't know have a guess what watch was named after the Daytona Beach in Florida oh, the Daytona <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, Cameron Cam asks, are we in a price bubble? Uh, Specific to Rolex, it'll be. Are Um, we in a price bubble? Are we in a price bubble? Well, we've been in one for a while, should I say. It's more, it's supply and demand. You've got more people wanting the watch than they're producing. So if that continues, 
will continually be there. Do you think, and also out to you guys out there, um, does anybody think, as perhaps I do, that this whole COVID year we've had and lack of production from Rolex has contributed to this absolute squeeze out there for watches? We've talked about lack of production. We've talked about Bitcoin zillionaires. We've covered everything, but the prices are very, very firm, aren't they? Mm. I think overall, Rolex offer great value for money. I mean, the entry level at five, 6,000 is not huge. They hold their money, so people know they can buy a Rolex and literally part exchange it and always more or less get their money back. They're not going to do fortunes. And if they can get their name and get things from ADs, it's win-win. Now, yeah. Janilda, the next question's for you. And the only reason it's for you is because I have no idea, <laughs> A, what language it's in, and B, what on earth it says. So I'm going to give it my best go Let's in my it. best Cuban accent. Okay. Eduardo Alvarez Garcia says, Bale compro Rolex Rica. Que vale compro Rolex what? Rica. <laughs> yeah. I what mean, does that mean? I, I, I speak Spanish, obviously. That's a little bit. What do you mean, bit. obviously? <laughs> obviously, you speak Spanish. I, don't know. I thought you speak Italian. Just, yeah, but Spanish, you know? It's Spanish. Italian, you speak, yeah. If yeah. You, didn't you it's know, Gab? If you speak Italian, you speak Spanish. Oh, okay. And then I, I've been in Spain so many times, so I really love it. Um, what what <laughs> he's saying, I think, is yeah. a little bit different because uh, it's South... Um, it's, it's, yeah, Cuban. Yeah, he's So Cuban. i say it again for you, my Cuban but accent. He's, yeah, he's, he's, basically, Rolex Arica. he's basically saying something like, uh, do you have to be super rich to buy a Rolex? Something like that. Oh, Okay. What do you say to that, well, Janilda? Not super rich, but yeah. it helps. Yeah, it helps to have a few quid in the bank. Sure, it certainly does. Let's go to um, the guys on the chat. Um, if you do have any questions, please do pop them below. Spencer and Janilda are here to answer absolutely everything. Um, Giza says pot leaf. I mean, I guess that's we talk. Yeah, we've discussed that. We we probably shouldn't the mention pot, drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, John Smith says, do any of you guys rate the 5196J? It's hard to get from the AD. Five, that's What's Patek. That? Oh, that's um, Patek. Without looking up, there's so many reference. Have you got that, Tango? Yeah, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> hold on um, a second. I'm not familiar with that one. <laughs> there are so the, many yeah, references. Reference, oh, and Giza says, John, the 5196 is quite easy to get. Oh. Well, Giza, you've got yourself a sale there, haven't you? <laughs> okay, well, in that case, yeah. it's probably one that I think one of the complications which... Is available. Right. It's okay. easier to get, yeah. yeah. Derek Fox asks, what is the lowest price range in watches you deal in? Lowest price it's range. It's low. Um, Tag Heuer. Tag Heuer, yes. Gucci, Chanel. You know, anything pre-owned, we do deal in some of the yeah. lower thousand. Yep. Some of the tags. Re Remont, yeah. 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 yeah, we have some. But what I would say is whenever we go through the cases and the drawers to pick out watches, we obviously go straight past those in terms of the show because will you watch a fish in the endos? I don't think they're going to be too interested in looking at a Gucci mm -hmm. watch. Yeah. yeah. One would think. No. But people do come and sell them, but don't they? Sometimes the Chanel J12 is very the popular. The J12. But we do have... Is that the white one? Yeah. Yeah. White and they do black. We do have watches between 1,000 and 3,000. There are some very nice in. tag yeah. hires. Some yeah. Breitlings. Uh, a thousand, two thousand. Yeah. Okay, guys. So um, do keep your questions coming in. I am going to get to every single one of them. And now we have a very special Janilda treat. Um, Janilda called me into the office this week with her friend Kaylee, who works for Spencer, because they had a surprise for me. Uh, don't worry, they weren't giving me a watch. But <laughs> Janilda, do you perhaps want to explain what's about to happen? Yes, so we decided to create, let's say, a, a special, special box with the best watches we think we have in stock at the moment, and the you, most desirable watches. You called it a magic box. It's magic because it's, you know. So the title of this film is Janilda and Kaylee's Magic Box. You're Run the VT, want James. To see these guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back to BQ Watches. Today, me and Ilda have picked out 12 very special watches for you. I mean, I think we have here, guys, a magic box. The magic box, box. With some great, <laughs> great stuff to show you. And I think I can say this, the most desirable watches at the moment. Yeah, it's yeah, 100%. That. Not just Rolexes. No, we've time. got different ones and different metals as well. Just we would like to variation. go through them with you and you can tell us what's your favourite, how much do you think they're going for yeah. and how much do you think this box is worth. It's going to be 
a lot, I think. Do you think we should tell them? Not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, let's have a look. Let's go through them all, Kaylee. What's your favourite, by the way? I mean, if I could have any watch, it has to be the yellow gold Daytona with the green dial. I just think it is the most stunning piece there is. The dial is amazing, I really like the colour. It Which has one's some stickers on. It does, and obviously, so as, that's, not, that's the best you can get. Obviously. On that watch as well, with stickers, yeah. I mean, it's one yeah. of a kind, really. Yeah. Well, we put our bezel protector just to protect the watch, yeah. obviously. What because about of you? the yellow gold. Um, I do love the yellow gold green Daytona, but I have to be honest, I've started to really, really like the Patek Philippe's guy. Yeah. yeah, amazing. We're all about Rolexes. Obviously, the Patek is very popular, but when you don't actually see them or have them around, you would think, oh, it's okay. But then when you have some around, I'm like, I love them. Yeah, because obviously we mainly get Rolexes in. We don't mainly we? get Rolexes, and since we've been getting more Pateks, I've I've started to like yeah. them more. Yeah. yeah, they are stunning pieces. So what Patek do we have? We've got the green one and the black one the black they're both both great watches i mean are i think they... the green one's amazing to yeah be fair. yeah the and green one is amazing how the... old are they both brand new 2021 brand new to 2021 with obviously a lovely box i love patek oh. boxes i think they're, they're the great. best boxes out there patek. yeah what else we've got we've got a few daytonas not just the green one yellow which is quite popular but also we've got the yellow one with the Paul Newman dial what do you think of that do you know what I love it I will be honest though they do do the Paul Newman on an oyster flex and I think that is possibly is yeah I think that is nicer Even than the better. one on the yellow gold yeah I do like yeah. that it's amazing it's a 2020s and tip yeah great great stuff I mean then we've this is a brand new piece in the white gold Pepsi I love it I love the Pepsi and uh I think you can wear a white gold watch uh, with that bezel and it doesn't look too much, you're not I'm showing off, you're just wearing a great watch Yeah. and obviously a very expensive one yeah, as well. Exactly. I like the blue dial data. I mean, you can't else. go wrong with it, can you? That's We've had a lot else. of customers that love that. One of our team, David, you've met him, he loves, loves that it. Yeah, absolutely his favourite. Uh, so one day maybe he's going to get it, why not? <laughs> Next one we've got the the Smurfs, Smurfs. <laughs> as they yeah. call it, the white gold Submariner with the blue bezel and black I dial. I guess on this one, if you don't like too much blue, you can yes, go with that. It's perfect. Yeah. That's what you can get. If you like a lot of blue, then, then you, you can go with go for the yellow. <laughs> yeah, yellow gold, blue bezel, blue dial. I mean, it is stunning though. It's blue really really complements it. Doesn't yeah. it? it really yeah. goes well together. And that is actually also 2021. 2021, yeah. yeah. We've got a couple of rose golds as well, because it's obviously, they're very in and they're very popular. Very popular, very popular. I find they're getting more popular, the rose yeah. gold pieces. Which is the GMT and the Sky Dweller. But I'm really, really into the Sky Dweller with this dial. The Rhodium dial, I really think dial, it goes it? so well with the rose gold and then on the Oyster Flex. And the Oyster Flex makes it look, you know, like an everyday watch. Yes, exactly. It exactly. gives you that idea. Yeah. But see, we've also got that one's in rose gold with the rhodium, but then we've got the yellow gold with the white. And I'll be honest, when my customer rang and said, Listen, I've got this, I thought, Oh, that's nice, nice in the picture. Yeah. When it came, I was like, Absolutely, that is stunning. That is so much better in person Beautiful. than it is on a picture. It it's just true, it's it true. really is a lovely piece. And again, on the Oyster Flex, yeah, really, which I, I like these guys very popular at the moment. Yeah, I, flex is I agree completely. Very popular. Well, there is one we haven't spoken about. Yeah, yet. it's just uh, I just, like that. It's so different. It's big. I know it's big. Everyone says it's yeah. big, but how different is it though? It's Do you know, different. It's this AP, and it's like an army one. It's got the green strap and then the green dial, the green bezel. It's, it's just just beautiful, and I really really like. Um, I mean, green on Rolexes, but let's let's we can. We can tell the green yeah. is on every everything really, and it's Tanks, becoming more popular. And as you can tell, these. look at them three, two, three different brands. Yeah, all the greens, and they all the go so well. Yes, yeah, so exactly. There must be a reason why. Uh, I don't have my green nails today, but anyways, no, I'll I next, have blue, but I'll with... next time. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, this is a magic magic box. 
would you like to have it? I mean, I guess I they would. I would. <laughs> Everyone would like to have one. I think I'd be too scared though. Imagine just having this and then I'd be like, I don't, I would, I no. would be so stuck on which no, one to wear. Honestly. I'd be like, do you know what? This is too much. It's crazy to think that some people, it, people actually have this sort of collection. I which mean, I think is amazing. If you have a collection yeah. like this, please let us know. We would love to see it. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure ours is one of the best ones. Of but course. But if you can do better, just send us some pictures and so we can have a look at your collection. We've got the most desirable pieces, but obviously there's other, other watches that people love as well. Love. Yeah, well. exactly. Yeah, that we, we might show you next time or in one of our shows. Yeah. So do you think maybe we should tell them how much is the box is worth? I mean, what could you buy with that kind of money? An island? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> a few a things. A few things, few things. But, yeah. Uh... Shall we? Okay, so the price of this box is around, we're not going to be specific, but we are. We are. <laughs> is around half a million, million pounds. pounds. Guys, believe it or not. I mean... You wouldn't, um, obviously if you know your watches, you would probably know, yeah, yeah. but you wouldn't necessarily take a look, one quick look at it and be like, yeah. that's half a million pounds right Just there. let us know if you guys guessed from the very beginning, We're, we really want to know yeah. if you could tell or you were like low or too high. And also guys, let us know which one of these is your favourite watch. I and actually posted one. a story on my Instagram today saying that that's my fate, but I've changed my mind already, so I need to post <laughs> another one maybe. So you could do the same, you could post a picture and just tag us on your favourite watch of this collection. Or if you already have your favourite watch that is in this collection, let us know. Yeah. Because we sure. would love to know that. Sure. So we can add and do more. But thank you very much thank for watching. You. It's been I so hope you fun. liked it. I think we put a lot of effort on it, guys. As you can tell, so the colour coordination. Yeah, and it's so difficult, I mean, to deal with these watches. Oh, yeah. It's not, it's not mm -hmm. nice, is it? No, 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 no. it's difficult. Very. But <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for Thank you. Bye. Us. Bye. Hi guys, so I just wanted you to just have a sample there of some of the stock we've got. I mean, some amazing pieces there, really fantastic pieces. And although with some of those we've sold, we still have depth of stock. So a rose gold GMT went out, but we still have something, one of them left. Also the white gold with the blue dial on the Daytona, absolute stunning piece. The yellow and the rose in the Daytonas. I think last week us two pieces went with the chocolate dial. Um, that we've still got so look keep looking at the site and looking at things but all of these are just a sample of some of what we have as well as date just and still models but i thought it was a really good idea to catalog that together and just show you the viewers a selection of some of the beautiful pieces that we've got because often on the website you may browse through bits but seeing them all together i mean even for me i love comparing and looking at these pieces but really good. So, Gav, what we got? What's going on there? Well, hold on now. a second. Before before we move on, um, Janilda, well yes. done. Yes, very well good. Well done. Yeah. You and Kayla, yeah, well yeah. done, nice you two. Selection nice selection. Nice selection you picked <laughs> out there. Now, Spencer Not wants bad. to pick you up on something, don't you, Spencer? Oh, that's right. Um, what do they do now? <laughs> what I would say there, and this isn't 100%, but a lot of people refer to the Smurf as the older model, the 116619. Right. So the blue and blue. The blue and blue is right. referred to as the Smurf. The 126619 is the black dial with the blue bezel. Some people do refer to it as the modern Smurf, just so that people know the difference. Again, much with the Starbucks. So the Starbucks Same. is the black with the green bezel, green. and the Hulk, as we know, is green on green. But it's just a... Ah, it's Ten. just a small mistake. We're, no mistake, Janelle. You know, we're all learning <laughs> on the not, job, aren't we? I'm not allowed. Am we're I? all <laughs> learning on the job, which is fantastic. Let's see what some of our uh, our viewers thought. Uh, Kelvin says, green and gold Daytona, easily the winner. Okay. The Golden yeah. Majestic Meatball said, the Aquanaut is absolutely fabulous. I think we all agree with that. Yeah. Uh, Giza said, the blue 5168G is the best aqua Aquanaut. Um, Giza, the 20th anniversary model. Kelvin O says again, don't think I would wear the green and yellow gold Daytona even if I owned one. Oh, really? Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, Glenn Corkill 
says, in reality, does an average AD watch buyer ever get offered a still Daytona or is it always the big spenders? Big spenders without question. Absolutely. I think you you're five to, years mm. plus and you are spending more than 100000 maybe more than 200000 before you get a still Daytona. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's me out the game then. Um, <laughs> Which most people out the game. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> does. John Smith, this is controversial, Janilda. Mm. This is controversial. John Smith says that AP looks so ugly. Oh. Fortunate, unfortunately, the rest. Oh, unfor The AP looks so ugly. Unfortunately, the, the rest. rest of those watches look amazing. We like the AP, don't we? I like the AP, but I mean, it's very. It's yeah. opinions, everyone. Personal. Absolutely. We all like different things. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we only had one guest live. Kelvin O guessed seven hundred and sixty thousand pounds. Oh. If you want to buy the lot for seven hundred sixty thousand pounds, we'll give you change. <laughs> we'll give you change. Exactly. Uh, that's a good guess, actually, uh, it's Kelvin. A, it o. is a good guess. It is yeah. a good guess. Uh, he says great collection. Um, Giza says five one six eight G is my favourite of the bunch. The majestic, um, the, sorry, the golden majestic meatball. That box represents many years of skillful watchmakers and may be considered priceless. Probably absolutely. I mean, absolutely. it really is. All the yeah. craftsmanship yeah. that goes into those watches is pretty amazing. Uh, Giza, who's obviously in your fan club, Janilda. No one ever talks to us. Uh, <laughs> well done, Janilda. Giza Thank says. Uh, James says, "I like them all. The blue, white, uh, the blue, the blue sub, white gold tops it for me." It's beautiful. What's? Oh, we we said what the your white, favorite. the white gold, and the pla that's the understated. That's people who wear something and don't want anyone to know. The white gold. The white gold. If you're wearing a white gold sub, a white gold Daytona. So most people would look at it. So is that the white gold Daytona you're yeah. talking about? And the white gold Daytona with the blue dial. The blue dial. And also the white gold sub. So someone wearing that, Mr. Who doesn't know about a watch, will just think, oh, it's a, a steel a steel sub. Yeah. But the person who's wearing it knows that he's spent several times that of a steel watch. Yeah. 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 yeah it's, a, it's a nice feeling, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's hard to know what's my favourite, actually. Um, I loved the white gold Pepsi. Yes. I like yes. that. I really did what's like that. What's your favourite, Spencer? What's yours? <laughs> um, I'm leaning more towards the Patek area. Really? Yeah, but I'd, either the green, Black. the Aquanaut. Mm. Yeah, you're yeah. just dreaming of the orange hands yeah, again, I'm aren't you? Orange <laughs> but just going back, Gavin. Really Shall I get one in for you? If you can, I know where I can get my hands on one. Really? Yeah. Okay. I reckon okay. I reckon I can bring one in for you okay. as a little, as a little okay. Just going back to what you were mentioning, the GMT and the white gold. Really interesting. That was the blue dial. There's a black and the blue dial. The blue dial is a lot more desirable. Is it? Hmm. Yeah. A lot more desirable. Because it's a colour? It's blue. Anything blue, green. Anything with colour, it's just a bit more interesting. Derek Fox says root beer for me. It is a stunning watch, yeah, actually, the root yeah, beer as well, is. isn't it? It really is absolutely well, we delivered, gorgeous. We delivered popular. that one of those last week and two rose gold Daytonas last week. I mean, we yeah. filmed that last Thursday, and it's amazing to think that three of those watches have gone yeah. now. It's, uh, gone. Yeah. It is pretty pretty spectacular. George Johnson says, newly released white gold Patek 5968G, midnight blue and khaki green. What do you see them going for at market price? It's difficult to to know, loads, but yeah, loads exactly. of yeah. yeah, quite quite high. And then John Smith says, "I'm looking to acquire the five nine six eight G in blue. That piece is fire." Agreed. The blue Agreed. is nice. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you do get your fair share of of the Patek's, yeah. don't you? Over Absolutely. over time. Absolutely. Yeah. The Nautiluses, Aquanauts. It's just difficult to to keep them because they sell mm. quite. The one I'd love to get that five nine ninety, the rose gold. I mean, it's just yeah, it's they are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Crazy um, it is amazing though if you happen to be a little bit post famous somewhere along the line or even Z-list famous they seem to be able to get their hands on these things don't they or 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 do you think do you think they're being looked after or do you think I don't know I don't know Janilda can you hurry up and be famous please so we, we can see <laughs> you know trying. so we can walk you into an AD and see I'm if they trying, offer you a watch <laughs> what you think no one loves you because you're wearing no. an England top don't be silly <laughs> it's all the rage no? football's coming home Janilda has no one told you that yet uh, let's go back to some of these questions. Um, yeah, Kelvin O decided to call me James. That's really interesting for lots of reasons. Uh, James, your watch looks like a Frank Muller, not my Seiko. I could see Spencer's confusion. Um, yeah, I, I guess it kind of does. A little bit. Uh, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, let's have a... Psychic Wayne Isaacs. 
the Rolex Daytona 116506 Ice Blue Platinum, which used to be your favourite, hmm. didn't it? Do people wear this watch out and about, or is it purely an investment to be locked in a safe now of a price of 80 to 90k? I think some people wear it, but I think probably more of them are yeah. safe queens. Yeah. That's one of Paul Thorpe's um, terms, safe queens, where people just lock things away and don't wear them. And again, I had many conversations. I think you've got to wear watches. Ah, uh, we've talked about this before, haven't we? They're for wearing. Yeah. Are they really? Yeah. Look, I think you have your wearers, and if you are someone who wants to invest and lock them away, then lock them away. But you've got to wear pieces. But do you... I'm going to say this because I, I'm in this conundrum. I, I do actually, as you know, I have, I have one very yep. nice watch. And uh, and I don't wear it. What, never? I'm telling you, Spencer, I've worn it once. Why, though? Why? Because I feel like it's a really nice watch. Uh, it's a Hulk, uh, for anybody who wants to know. Um, and it had never been worn. And I wore it once. And now it literally sits in a safe. And I don't wear it. And it's not that I don't want to wear it. I just feel like... It's almost like I feel it's too good to wear every day. No, you've got to wear yeah. it. You've got to wear it. You have to wear it. Will you, shine, it. will you shine and buff yeah, and clean 100%. it for me when it's all a bit knackered? Exactly. It gets a yeah. bit scratched, so you polish it. So what? Yeah. It's like a car that sits in the garage that's yeah. never used. And, it, and it's not that I'm worried about the value or the investment. I just feel like I... I no, yeah. wear it. You have to wear these things. Okay. You have to. Or you could lend me one and I'll wear yours. Fine. There you okay. go. I'll hold, I'll I'll hold one fine. in the safe as in lieu. I'll tell you what, I'll give you one of mine that's a bit scratched and wear mine. There you go. Thanks <laughs> very much. Okay. Oh, I'll take the Patek. Um, <laughs> no, Hulk. The is. Hulk, yeah, so I know. So I'll give you a scratch, Hulk. Thank you. Christian says, I'm waiting on a Black Bay 58 in silver. Have you had any yes, in yet? Yes, we have. We have. We did, yes. Yeah. I think it was quite interesting, yeah. different. Yeah. We sold it, I And think. again, Isn't that nice really, for a silver watch, I mean, we know how much gold pieces are, but silver, a semi-precious metal. Lovely. Great. Good, good yeah. price, yeah. And a nice weight. Yeah. With it. I have to say, I mean, and, and once again, we, we've talked about tudors a lot um they really are i think they're quite nice looking watches it almost seems like ridiculous yeah, they're like two piece. three thousand just pounds going back to that silver relative. tudor i think it was four-ish yeah. i mean not a fortune yeah and it's a silver piece on like a nato strap yeah it was on really nice yeah i've seen a few of these harrods tudors yes offered that's around. the green is that the green yeah sought after or yeah just yeah okay nice i mean I think they're nice yeah, yeah. yeah. green a green because if I had yeah. a Tudor I'd wear it every day okay well I'll tell you what then you can give me oh, a, no 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 no, no. <laughs> I, give, I walked give me right the into that and one and I'll let you wear a Tudor every I day I walked right into that one there you go James is just stuck on the screen there a Tudor Black Bay Harrods well there's the Harrods on the exclusive. left exclusive yeah. yep um, I've also got the ceramic in that's just come we out. We do, yes. And yes. I think it's quite nice. Yeah. And you've got the Black Bay Ceramic Black as well. Yeah. That's really nice. James, and move across there. You've got the silver there. So we've also got the chrono. Yeah. That piece there in the we white and the black. We don't have the... I think we haven't got that piece. No. Just to say, James, next time you Google one of these watches, why don't you Google it on the BQ website? <laughs> you missed a trick there, Sunshine. James, can you pull up the silver there? We've got all of them. You got... No. No, you can pick it up from anywhere. He's only joking. The silver. No, Black Bay Silver. Sorry, James in the yeah, studio next door it. who looks after all the machinery is talking to us, but you can't hear it. There it is. It's um, the, um, he's so ugly, we yeah. have to keep him I off the screens. Had... Nah. <laughs> he'll, throw, he'll throw something at me later. Um, yeah, you'll just shut us off. Um, amazing. That's amazing it in stuff. the middle, I think, in that middle row there. Yep, across. That's the silver. Isn't yeah. Fifty-eight. Geezer says, "Wear that Hulk." Geezer, I've got myself a deal now, so I'm definitely yeah, going to be wearing. Wear it. I'm yeah. definitely going to be wearing someone's Hulk. Uh, Christian, I agree. Wear them, but there, be so, aware. Sorry, Gav. Yep. Yeah. Um, there, the one that says new. No, James got up. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Black Bay fifty-eight nine two five. That's, that's really silver. nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, really, really gorgeous. Uh, lost my place now I've done really well um, Christian says I agree wear them but be aware of your surroundings and be careful you do have to be sure, careful always, actually always mm. careful but Marcus Maximus says and this is not aimed just at you Janilda it's, it's at Spencer as well uh, hi guys love the show I just picked up a green dial Daytona we're so jealous two days ago unworn and it's already in the bank I just can't wear it oh 
Oh. Janilda, would you wear it if you had he, one? He needs to have two, Janilda. He needs one in the I bank and one to wear. That's I probably not know. a bad idea, isn't it? Of course, that's an expensive, hefty investment, mm. isn't it? I do it? understand when they're very, very expensive, but at the same time, you want to, you know? If you've got it, you want to wear it. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you've got to enjoy it. John Smith says, where do you see the new controversial Sky Dweller Jubilee going price-wise? Will it spike in price due to the nature of the bracelet? It's going to spike because I of think so, yeah. Limited, uh, limited supply at the moment. Limited supply. You think it's going to yeah. spike? I, I think, think so. so, yeah. If you say so, I believe you. <laughs> Spence, I'm not so sure. Um, George Johnson, is the Panda going to have a price correction soon or will it carry on going to 40k? Who knows? Who knows? Watch this space. Yeah, we just... I mean, we talk about it. It's driven by demand, isn't it? Early and 20s supply. seemed a lot of money for that yeah. watch. And now it's... Uh, I mean, we sold... What, again, that was a watch we sold last week. Yeah. £30,000. Wow. Now. James says, I wear my SD43 every day. I remember it, Spencer telling me as I left. There you go. Glenn Corkle, I have an unworn steel Pepsi. I'm frightened of scratching it. A bit of OCD, maybe. But guys, the... uh, you're going to scratch it. I don't think it's that. Yeah, it's a stainless steel piece. I mean, yeah. a lot of a lot of viewers and people are saying this now. Years ago, people just wore watches. I think it's a shame now because of the values yeah. people are worried scared about. scared and yeah, but I think they should. Williams Watches says, yeah, the BB Ceramic is a really cool watch. And Graham Campbell, I did see this message a bit earlier, I think. Hi, guys. Is the Cartier Santos Skeleton a solid investment? Um, they're very much in demand. They are I very mean, much in demand. They're a they? lot of money for a Cartier. They are a lot of money. But all of these... 20 plus? About 22, 24,000. Yeah. Yeah. I know you had one. We did have one about, and that sold yeah, quite that sold. quickly. Yeah. yeah, that wasn't around. So I think that's a yes, basically. Yeah. Yeah. But again, these, these other Cartiers on the blue, yeah, there's the skeleton there. Yeah. Yeah, very, very nice. Okay, thank you there, James. Um Pradeep Singh, where do you where you do do you see Oyster Flex Daytona's values by the end of the year? This whole prediction thing. Well, thinks. they're up at thirty, thirty fives. Um the rows on the black again, I think of the pieces, I think back of what we sold. The black dial huge um two. Two were sold last week by us. Oyster Flex very popular yeah. at the moment. Yeah, in the well, rows. Gold Isn't that the one that popular? Paul Thorpe came in to buy one from you? He wanted during the, the Paul show. Newman one. That ah, was the, the yellow Paul gold, Newman. which yellow that was only sold when you were there. That's right. We were having. Ago. We were at Pizza Express. But last week, two of the rows with the black dial were sold. Yeah. Oh wow. And they're sort I of had over a third. Today he wanted to sell his um, stainless steel Dayton and get a rose gold one. I see that happening quite yeah. quite a lot recently. Wow, amazing. Okay. Janilda. Yes. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> what time is it? Nearly time to finish. Oh, really? This means it comes to the best part of the show for me. It used to be the best part of the show was Spencer trying to introduce it because we used to have an auto cue <laughs> and clearly watch selling is his absolute skill. Reading isn't. I can't read. I he left school without being able read. To read. He left school at 12. Do you know what? Can you believe it? 12. <laughs> I started at 12 and left at 12. You're quite right. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he always wants me to read the emails, honestly. There you go. <laughs> so this that. is the bit we look forward to where Spence has to say goodbye to everybody and he can never remember the like, subscribe, Should share. I let oh, you know? hold on. There's one thing we need to do before we go. Do you know what? What have we forgotten? What? what? The giveaway. Oh, right. The giveaway. Right. Um, tell everybody to check our Instagram. So right, guys, we have to. You have to check our Instagram, repost the story, uh, tag three of your friends in the comments, and you might be the lucky one to win our Tudor watch. Yeah. So Spencer is very generously, very very generous, giving away a Tudor GMT. Yep. And um, values subscribe. in the region of three thousand pounds, and that is going to be given away at the summer fair. Yeah. And, Unworn. And basically, it's a free giveaway. Our social media which means yeah. you have to like the post you'll find it on our instagram you have to share the post to your story and you have to tag three friends who also love watches and the last thing you need to do is subscribe to, to our channel that watch guy That's london important. exactly on youtube um one more thing we need to cover we need to update everybody 
in the future that there's been an announcement from the UK government today. We've all been sitting in the studio, so we haven't quite watched it, but we know they haven't really changed the guidelines in terms of social distancing and sure, everything else. Sure. So boo Boris Johnson. Um, We're going to look at it, see what we can do, um, obviously, within the current guidelines. Yeah, the government guidelines. Obviously, we can't do anything that... Uh, that flirts with the law of the land, although I feel like there's going to be some sort of social disorder if this all kind of carries on. Is mm. it? Uh, but we're going to see what we can do. Exactly. And we will update all of you about the summer of fair course. as soon as we've left here and Spencer's bought us all dinner. Right, Janilda? Absolutely. Perfect. Glass of wine tonight? Absolutely. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wine, Italian no? wine, Right, please. here we go. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Spencer, do your outro. So thank you, guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. And oh. we hope to see you next week. Spencer, you forgot your like, subscribe, and share. I thought Janilda's done that. Go on, you can do it. No. Janilda's done that. She did that. it for the competition. Okay. <laughs> so if if you'd like to like, subscribe, <laughs> and hit the share button to join us, thank you. Thank Go on, you, Gav. guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.